In previous clips we created a, a landscape in Kodu with some mountains, some woods and some clouds and what we're going to have a go at doing now is adding a Kodu and I'm choosing the same icon as we used in the last clip to add the trees, the object tool and I'm going to click where I'd like the object to go. Now we could choose lots of different sprites to actually move around our landscape for us to control but I'm going to choose the Kodu and you can see it's appeared just down here. Let's zoom in and have a little closer look at our Kodu. There he is. You can see he's got um, a couple of eyes at the front, and a kind of a strange robot-y mouth, and he moves around by himself a little bit, nodding. Now, if I click back on the object tool, it means that I can go back and make some changes. Notice it's highlighted, and as soon as my Kodu or Sprite is highlighted, we've got these colour bars that appear at the top. If I use the arrow keys, I can change Kodu's colour. Let's change it to a, a red. Now, as it says up in the context menu, we can drag him around if we're not happy with the start position. Or if we right mouse click on him, we can do things like rotate him, change the height, change the size. So we can have a huge Kodu or a smaller Kodu. But the bit that we're really interested in is the program option at the top. Here's where we actually start for the first time putting in some code into Kodu. And Kodu is based around lots of rules that we give all of the all of the sprites in our environment. And Kodu is no different. And we have this when do situation here where we can input what we'd like to happen when something happens. So what I'm going to choose is a when by clicking on the plus. I'm going to choose keyboard control and I could be more specific and click on the plus here and choose the arrows. I'm going to use the arrow keys to control my Kodu and if I click on the do then what I want him to do is to move. Now if I press the escape key now and press escape again my game's running and hopefully you can see I'm moving my Kodu around using the arrow keys. Now he's going really slowly so what I'm going to do is press escape, I'm, I'm making sure that I've got the object tool, then I'm right mouse clicking, I'm going to choose program again, and I can choose move, um, but this time I'm going to put a quickly in there, and you can actually add more than one quickly, and hopefully that will speed him up a little bit, let's see, mm, it's a little bit faster, still not completely convinced though. So what I'm going to do is press escape again, make sure I'm on the object tool, right mouse click and this time I'm going to change Kodu settings. And I'm going to make him, zoom him up a bit with the forward speed multiplier and the forward acceleration multiplier. So hopefully this is just going to make him speed up a little bit. You can see there's lots of other options underneath that we can change too, but I'll leave those alone for now. Now let's press escape to get our game running and always zipping around at a fair old speed now, which is just the job. And it means hopefully Kodu can now go and visit this wonderful landscape that I've created. He can go and have a play in the pond. Or he can zip round to the other side and go and visit the deep dark woods. Using my arrow keys. Here we go. And notice those other sprites just illuminate when Kodu bumps into them. <laughs> 